Hello everyone, this is Alex with Patterns for Pirates and today we're starting the sew along for the Sunflower Swim Top. This is a super cute versatile swim top that comes in both adult and youth. It has a full back or an open back with a crisscross tie. It has an optional ruffle um, that you could add to it or um, just leave it plain at the bottom. It has two necklines, one a higher neckline and one a lower one. And it's perfect to pair it with um, your favorite swim bottoms. My uh, suggestion would be either the uh, BZB swim bottom or the Hello Sailor from Patterns for Pirates. Both are available in um, the pattern gallery on our website. So this being a swim pattern, we, I will start by going over the uh, necessary fabric and um, notions. It's pretty straightforward. It's a swim, so you need swim fabric with at least 50% stretch. I am using uh, this gorgeous swim from Also oh Pretty Fabrics. Also oh Pretty is actually sponsoring this sew along, so not only you will get to see their uh, fabric in action, but uh, our winner will also receive a prize from uh, Also oh Pretty. Do check out their website. I will leave the um, link in the blog. They have started bringing in solid swim as well, if you're not into uh, printed pattern so, uh, swim. Then I will be using swim lining. This is a nude swim lining that I got from Joanne the other day. I like to hunt the remnant bin uh, every time I go, especially if I don't need a big piece. And I went looking for some swim lining because I ran out just for this pattern. So I basically needed not even half a yard probably for swim lining. And I scored big time. I found a whole yard in the remnant bin. So that was half off, and I believe it was also on sale. So it was half off the sale price super score. So one yard of swim lining will give me at least two swim tops, or I can also use it for bottoms, and I think more than that. Um, so you do need swim lining. If you want the tightness and the um, uh, stiffness of a more supportive swim, uh, like something that tucks you in, a little more and if you're okay with the feeling that leaves while you wear it you can definitely use inner lining or power mesh or um, uh, one of those uh, um, power net is what I meant it, it's up to you I am personally not a fan I while I know it may look beautiful it's uh, my comfort. I think I've reached the age when my comfort is more important than the look. Probably. I don't know if it's a maturity thing or what it is, but I don't particularly love the feel of power mesh in a swimsuit. I feel like it's too restrictive, but again, it gives you a nicer, uh, smoother look. So it's up to you. I won't be adding it for this so along, but I will add the inner lining to uh, put optional cups. I got these cups, which are not my favorite, but I do have them, so I'll show them to you, from Wawak. And they're too rounded and too stiff. So I, um, the pattern does have openings for cups, so you'll insert and take out the, your favorite cups. They're not sewn in. So because they're not sewn in, I will you put this in, see if I like them or not. And if I don't, I'll just take another pair of cups from a different swimsuit that I have that has cups that I like them and just go back and forth between swimsuit with the same pair of cups. But uh, again, if you like this uh, stiffer shape, rounded shape uh, cup, I got this from Wawak. And I think they were like, buy one, get one free. I have like three or four of them. So I hope I like them on, but I won't. I don't know yet. We'll see. Then you need swim elastic. This pattern does use three kinds of elastic. If you don't have, uh, you don't have access to one or the other from uh, the swim elastic, I'm sure you can uh, substitute them. It's a difference of an eighth of an inch in between them. So it's not going to be the end of the world. It shouldn't be the reason why you're not joining in the sew along. 
But if you want to have the exact look uh, that the pattern uh, is going for, I do suggest you grab yourself uh, one, a quarter inch swim elastic. These are from Joanne. I got this when I got the lining. This is the Dritz uh, swimwear elastic in a quarter inch. And you also need um, three eighths of an inch swim elastic. And also I got this from Joanne with the coupon with half off. It was like $2.50 for this and $2 or less for this, I believe. $1.50 probably. I don't remember, but I always use coupons. And you'll also need three quarters of an inch swim elastic if you find it. I couldn't for uh, the under bust area. So you don't need a big piece. It's just going to go under your bust for extra support. I don't have three quarters of an inch. I have one inch knit elastic and I'm going to be using that. The main difference between a swim elastic and a non-swim elastic is resistance in chlorine water. So expect, it, if you're using non-swim elastic, expect it to last less than if you were to use swim elastic. So it's a risk I'm willing to chance. I, I have and make so many bathing suits for me that I don't use them all the time. It's not like I'm using it daily and it's gonna be ruined in, in a summer. So I will be using one inch knit elastic instead of the three quarters because that's what I have on hand. And again, not a reason not to do a sew along because you don't have three quarters. The difference is just a quarter inch and being that I'm larger chested, it's not really going to bother me that much. If you're on the smaller side for the chest, uh, you can go instead of the three quarters of an inch with a half an inch if you don't have three quarters. Ideally, three quarters would be best. So uh, that's about it, what we need for um, fabric and notion. The pattern does have uh, four formats when you purchase it. You have a US letter, which is basically for the, our US users. You have um, A4 format, which is for outside of US. Those are the paper patterns that you print, you tape together, and uh, links to how to tape a pattern together. Uh, and to our first time user will be in the blog for today. And it's also available in the pattern. So if you've never used our patterns, do click that link and familiarize yourself with how to tape patterns uh, papers together. There is also two extra formats. One is an A0, which is a copy shop format. And that one is usually the one that you send to places like Staples or FedEx and have it printed on um, very big papers like uh, one yard. I believe they're one yard in width, those papers. So, uh, or if you're lucky enough to have a plotter in your own house, I'm one jealous and two, you can print it yourself. <laughs> And fourth format that we've introduced is the projector file, which is what I'll be using today to cut my swim for the sunflower top. The projector file does require you to have a pre-made uh, setup with a projector and um, all that good stuff. We've uh, post I've posted this uh, in a in previous videos of how I do things with my projector. We are uh, having um, a projector blog. Um, one of our uh, bloggers is uh, working on a projector blog for all of you to see with much more detail, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I'll show you my setup and how I cut this. So without further ado, let's get started. Today's steps are printing the pattern if uh, you're printing the actual paper and cutting your fabric. At the end of today, you should have a pretty pile of swim and elastic ready for you to get sewing tomorrow. So grab your computer and pick your favorite format. In my case, I will be opening the projector file. So I opened both the letter for the tutorial. I don't print the tutorials, but I did open it for um, to have it there while I sew. And then I opened the um, projector file. I like to use the screen as big as I can get it. So. Um, 
I like to maximize everything so I have a big big um, projection area I will be selecting my size first and foremost I do want to mention that the um, projector is already set up so I know exactly which percentage I will be using for my um, my uh, viewing projection area so I have my size selected using the layer function I have my projection area done I will remove the bar or we'll see if I need the, the top part I do like to cut with my uh, with a fold line along the bottom like towards me where I'm sitting so that is done my internet is set to my projector I'm going to go ahead and turn on my projector Because of the lighting, I don't know how well you can see on the table, but it's starting to project. And I will just mirror the screen. And I am good to go. Everything is view uh, visible on my end right now. I'm sure because of the lighting right now for filming you can see it. But I will go ahead and dim those lights right now. And I will start um, so, uh, cutting and chatting while I go. So now that the light is much much dimmer, I'm sure you can see the projection a lot better on my table. So let's start cutting. I will be doing the open back for, um, for my swimsuit because I feel that the closed back is a lot easier to sew in. Um, not a lot of you will need help with that. So I'll do the open back. I do want to mention that Judy does include videos with her pattern, with the latest pattern, and this is one of them. So if you're doing an option that I'm not doing for the sew along, you can definitely check out her videos. Uh, they're all linked in the pattern itself. They're hyperlinked, so you just click on the pattern, it takes you to the YouTube channel, the um, Patterns for Pirates YouTube channel, and then you will be able to see those videos there so you will have visual help even if you're not doing the same option that I am right now so knit swim knit does tend to be a little slippery so I like to hold it down with pattern weights even though I don't have an actual pattern I will like I do hold it down with pattern weights So we're going to cut first the front. I'm doing the scoop for the front. And you will need one of the main fabrics and one of the linings. I do want to add the cup the shelf bra part so I'll do that from the main print as well shelf bra does give a nice extra support and I can also add the cups in it so if you're not adding the cup but you do want the shelf bra you will cut all the way here if you're adding the shelf bra cups you will cut uh, with this opening because this is where you'll be inserting your cups okay. 
Okay, I'm going to cut first the main pieces, or actually since I have my projection here, let me bring in the lining. So, I have uh, this uh, for where the cups are, and then I will add I will also cut another one from the lining for the shelf bra. You can see a lot better on this. I can't wait to see which option you're choosing for your swim top. It is like a hundred degrees right now in Florida. So I'm very inspired to sew <laughs> swim tops. aside you don't want to accident accidentally put a slit in them and let me cut one lining from for the shelf bra Make sure your fabric is nice and straight. Okay, and now we can move on to the back piece. In my case, I will be going with the option that is an open back. So let's bring the open back. If you're doing the closed back, you cut one piece on fold from the main and optionally one piece on fold for the lining. If you're doing the open back, you would need to cut two mirror images. Not one on fold, but two mirror images and the, the lining is not optional in that case. So let's start with the lining since I have it here. So I do put my fabric on fold just to make sure I remember to have two mirror images but I will not cut it on fold, it's just to cut once. Okay. This is your back piece lining. We also need one that's cut off the main. I have two mirror images. So let's take the main fabric and do the same thing. Okay. 
with a lot of white in the selvage. I just wanted to make sure I'm not catching any of the white swing. Yeah. Oh, avoid. very important because they seem pretty um, similar, the top and the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and mark with a pin or if you have a uh, water, uh, like a marker for, uh, for your fabric, I'm going to mark which one is the top. The, I uh, the um, opening there, that first opening, is a little higher on the top. So I'll put just a clip here so I know when I start sewing then this is the top. And I'll do the same thing for this piece. Two mirror images. Swim isn't it slippery. I know a lot of people don't like sewing with swim. I don't find it that difficult. And I do like a custom swimsuit, so it's worth it. Use a lot of paper, uh, paper. Or use a lot of pattern weights and you won't have any issues. So now you're going to need to cut your ruffle if you add it. I will add the optional ruffle. And I will use the coordinate for that because it's super cute. Okay. So again for the ruffles you have two options. You have an option to cut your ruffle from for the back that's closed which is a longer ruffle and then there's another option to for the open back which is a shorter ruffle okay. in my case because I'm doing the open back I'll do the shorter ruffle which is this one right here this ruffle for uh, the swimsuit is pretty short so it's more like an accent ruffle. I personally like a little bit more coverage on my uh, belly area. So I do think I will cut my ruffle a little longer than the pattern calls for. That is the beauty of sewing for yourself. You can customize your patterns. Another option for this, if you have the flatter wrap dress, it has flounces that are already uh, designed in the pattern. Ooh, this is like perfect length. So the um, flatter wrap has flounces and when if you want instead of gathering the ruffle to add just a flounce you can use those flounces and cut them to the size you need. That's, I, I plan on doing one of those, one of these patterns with the flounces. Okay. This will include a little bit of the side, but I don't mind that much. The salvage. So I did the top and now I want to decide how long I do the rough because I will do it a little longer than the pattern calls for just for extra coverage. So right now it's at about two inches so it will be after the seam allowance about an inch and a half ish. So uh, I do want mine a little longer well a lot longer so I'll make my ruffle instead of two inches let's go with six and we'll see if I don't like it afterwards I just cut it off Perfect. 
here it slipped a little bit so fix that and you can also see see the um, uh, print better with a wider ruffle so I did mine at six inches And I think I'm going to do the swim bottoms uh, out of the coordinate, so it will look pretty cute. A high-waisted swim bottle will be super cute for this pattern. Okay, so all we have left to cut now, we have the ruffle, we have the main, the back, the front, the back, the lining. We just have to cut our straps. And um, the um, elastics. So for the back, you have a full back option. It's not the one that I'll be cutting. You also have a full back straight neckline, a scoop and a straight. But I want the uh, open back straps. So for the open back straps is the bottom one, which is right here. And I will do this in the coordinate fabric. And I need two of them on fold. So because it is a little slippery, I will use also the ruler. There's a cutting chart in the pattern um, tutorial, so if you prefer not to cut with your uh, projector for the rectangle parts, or you don't want to print them, you can definitely use the measurements in uh, the tutorial. So I have my one strap, and then we'll do the other strap, and then I'll continue cutting the elastic length based on uh, the measurements in the chart, or you can use the projection there. I'll cut the elastic right now. I'll make a pretty pile, snap a picture, and post it in the day one photo comments of the Sew Along album. You can find the Sew Along album in the Made for Mermaids and Parents for Pirates Sew Along group on Facebook. I will link it in the description of the video. And you can also find that in today's blog on the Parents for Pirates website. Snap a picture, post it there, that will count as your check-in for day one and will enter you uh, for uh, the prizes at the end of the sew along. So I can't wait to see all your fabric choices. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye!